Charterman, 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 What's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Spider-Man action figure review on Beast Kingdom's Egg Attack Spider-Man Homecoming figure. If you're trying to pick this up, you can do so right now at Big, Big, Big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. We get some pretty cool-looking packaging over here. I like the window box. You can see it says Backpack Included Special Edition. You get the little web right over there. We get a nice image of the Homecoming Spidey. And then on this side, you can see some more product shots, and then you can read all these features of the figure and then on this side you get egg attack spidey again and then on the top it says spider-man homecoming egg attack eaa051 and on the bottom there's not much going on so let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's the baby homecoming spider-man figure out of the packaging and i like this figure it's actually quite fun now i like my egg attack amazing spider-man 2 figure i also have the iron man i think it's the mark 43 so i like these egg attacks and this one delivers how i would expect it to uh there's some some gripes that I do have with it, but for the most part, it is pretty fun. And he does come with a lot of accessories, so let's get a closer look at those, and then we'll get a closer look at Spidey. So here's everything that comes with the Spidey figure. You can see that we get four pairs of interchangeable eyes, and then we get four pairs of interchangeable hands. We get the web wings, we get the webs, we get this exclusive backpack, and then we get the display stand. We also get a set of instructions over here, which are fairly helpful for the most part. Uh, some parts are a little confused, but you know, that's not too bad. Most of it's in Japanese, but there is some some translations in English. And we also get this big old sticker right here, which is folded up inside the packaging, so now it's all wrinkled and everything. So yeah, if you wanted to peel this off and paste this onto something, I guess you can, but I don't think I'm going to. Looking at the stand right here, this is fairly common for the egg attack figures that we've seen. I like how it says Spider-Man right there, Marvel Spider-Man Homecoming. Then you get the stand, which you could rotate right there at the bottom. And then you could rotate right here with this clamp. You can move this up and down. You could tighten it right there with the screw, and you can see it clamps together. Uh, you can see that we get the web wings which are okay. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of the web wings just because I just feel like they don't really hug against the figure like how I'd like them to. So to demonstrate that really quick, and this is going to be a freaky looking Spidey. No, he's got no eyes. But you can just look for the elbow and have this positioned in a way where this end is going to clamp into the back of the elbow and then you get this little hook right over here and then that's going to hook underneath the waist piece right there. So the arms are never really going to be fully, you know, just splayed outward. I did take pictures of him like this, so stay tuned to the end of the video to see that properly displayed. So you know, I also wish that we had some black paint or something right here, mimicking webbing a little bit more, but still not too bad. I'm glad the figure has it. He does come with two webbings and you can see that we have the one that's a little bit more splayed out right here and then we have uh, the other one that's, you know, just like he just shot the web. And I like how the webbing came out on these. Uh, I like them. It looks pretty good. And then he does have his web shooters, and there's just a little port right there. And you just plug each of them into whichever port you'd like. So that's pretty nifty. Then we get all the interchangeable hands. Oh, wait, wait, the backpack. I forgot about the backpack. This looks really good. I like this tan, and we get this nice brown fading going on right here, too. Nice details right there. So I do like how the backpack came out. Nice clean silver paint for the zippers and everything. And then the way you get this on the figure is you can just pop off the shoulders right here and then just slide this through right there. You can see that works out really well. And then just pop the arms right back on. You know, we just have ball joints right there in the armpits. There's a lot of articulation on this guy, but yeah, he wears the backpack fairly well. So that's pretty nifty. And then we get the pair of fisted hands, uh, we get the pair of web grabbing hands, which look pretty good. I like how you can see the web shooter trigger right there on the palm, right? There's a fisted hand again, it was kind of blurry the first time. Then you get the web shooting hands right here, and then we also get the wall crawling hands. <laughs> Face. All right, so look, we get interchangeable eyes. I think that's pretty cool. And they're just held together by magnet, which is really nifty. So we have the big wide open eyes. Then you can see right here, we have these slightly more squinted eyes. And then we have these even squintier eyes. And then we have these like sarcasm looking eyes, I guess. I don't know. But I like how you could swap these out. It's very easy to do. Uh, putting on, I don't know, one of these squintier eyes right there. You know, you can have them you know, 
they're doing the malfunction thing going on. So that's pretty cool. And I do like the head sculpt for this thing. I think it looks pretty good. And for a size comparison, here's the big, <laughs> the little big head Spider-Man uh, from Amazing Spider-Man 2, which is actually a little bit smaller. No, they're about the same size, you know, but yeah, very different designs right there. I do like this touch of black paint that we're seeing on the cobweb pattern. I think that came out looking really good. It's just very subtle. They didn't go too heavy with it. So I think that works out great. Like how you can see the ear right there and the facial features through the mask come out very clean. And then I like how the, like the whole red portions throughout the whole figure, I turned into Christopher Walken for a second, but the whole red portions throughout on this figure look great to me. I really like that cobweb pattern. You can see little droney right over there. And then on the blue parts, I feel like these, uh, these sculpted dots kind of remind me too much of a football jersey. I don't know, just kind of throws me off a little bit. Not the worst thing to see, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. I feel like yeah, I just don't remember seeing those holes as prominently as I'm seeing them on this figure right over here, but not too bad. I like how we have sculpting right there in those elbow joints. That's really cool. I dig that. The web shooters look great and everything too. So nice little figure, you know? Not really bad at all. A nice darker blue paint right here on these seams and everything too. And just, yeah, just get thrown off by that whole jersey look. It does throw me off some. Then looking at the calves and the legs, you know, some decent sized feet. Then he does have some nice treading sculpted right there at the very bottom, no peg holes. Now to go over the articulation on this guy, which is actually pretty good, but can be limited. Uh, there goes an eye. I just pop that right back in there. You can't move his head and neck up that far far and you can get him just looking downward that far you get side to side motion and some head pivoting which is pretty good nice and squeaky right there i gotta say lozaeus one is actually the one responsible for me picking this up by the way all right you can also move the shoulders in and out right there and you get some butterfly joint action right over there as well and the shoulders can move all the way upward and you can rotate a full 360 you get a bicep swivel double jointed elbows and then all the wrists are on ball joints i wish you could hinge them up and down a little bit more so but you get a ball joint right there and an another ball joint right there so pretty good wrist articulation not too bad it gets a little gappy and weird but eh, not the worst uh, you get a diaphragm joint that could turn side to side bit of diaphragm pivot and then you get some ab crunching and then diaphragm crunching back you also get a waist swivel right here no real waist pivot or anything like that I just popped that leg off and it goes right back on uh, but yeah no crunching or anything at the waist uh, I'm just feeling it turn side to side hip joints can be shifted up and down uh, you can do it without popping off the leg there you go so you can get the legs moving moving outward very far so he could almost do the full splits, not quite. Uh, you can get him kicking forward very far and back, and then you get a thigh swivel right there, and then you get the double jointed knee, and then the ankle can turn side to side, can move down, can move up some, and then you also get ankle pivot in there and toe articulation. So to measure out the height of this Egg Attack Homecoming Spider-Man figure, you can see that he's standing just a little over seven inches tall. And then for your Egg Attack Spider-Man comparison, we have the Amazing Spider-Man 2 version next to the Homecoming version right there. And it is kind of funny to me that even though this is a younger Spider-Man, he is a little bit taller than this older one. I mean, these did come out several years apart from each other, so it's kind of cool to see the differences between them. Uh, one thing I did notice with this newer one that does bother me is that the legs are a lot more loose than on this one. And then for another Egg Attack comparison, you can see the Spider-Man Homecoming Egg Attack next to the Mark 43 Iron Man. And yeah, it is kind of funny again that this Spider-Man Homecoming figure is taller. Then here's the Egg Attack Spider-Man Homecoming figure next to my two favorite Spider-Man Homecoming figures. We have the Hot Toys Spidey and we have the Mafex Spidey from Spider-Man Homecoming. Then here's the Egg Attack Baby Big Head Spider-Man Homecoming figure next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Oh, the baby Spider-Man's so cute. Hey, Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Gucci, 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 Spidey. Gucci, 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 Spidey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! I want to thank you guys for watching my video. I really do appreciate it, especially when you watch these reviews from the beginning to the end, for the ones that don't have any spoilers in them anyway. But yeah, hit that like button if you like this video. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this Egg Attack figure and let me know what you think of the review. And if you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so, as well as hit that notification bell to ensure that my videos pop up in your feed. YouTube can get weird, man. But anyway, this figure right here, I thought was very pleasant. I like this Spider-Man figure quite a bit. I'm a sucker for Spider-Man. I really like Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming Spidey is actually slowly becoming my favorite cinematic Spider-Man. And I, I just really like the design. I think it comes across pretty well with this baby big head version of it. I do have my gripes, but they're not really that bad, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and give this a sud rating of... It's not so bad. I'm sure maybe some of you expected an even higher sud rating. But the thing is, is that I do like the figure a lot. So I don't know. That, that's a hard thing with ratings anyway. But again, I'd like to know what 
what you think, so please leave your comment below. If you're interested in some Marvel Legends giveaways, please check out the Patreon account. I do have a giveaway going on right now, and I have many more to come, so please check that out. Help support the channel, and you get a chance of winning some free stuff. Anyway, if you want to stay in touch with me, follow me on the social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't. And I do like the head sculpt.